So this evening I want to show you a cool trick that you can do with your geese minute trap. And this is your standard minute trap, one inch or less openings, and uh, this is the fine mesh version, which will work really well for what we're doing today. So if you've seen my videos in the past, you know that dried dog food is my go-to bait. All right, It's always been there, it's dependable, it's cheap, you can get lots of it. But there's a single bait that works even better, and that is live insects. Uh, the issue comes into play as to how you get those insects in quantity and in the trap without having a mess. And that's what I want to show you how to do today. So uh, I've been messing with this for a couple years now. Finally figured out a good and cheap way of doing so. But uh, whether you're camping with a bunch of kids or you're just going to the dollar store and playing around, glow sticks. And this is what we're going to be using. Uh, I'm going to be putting glow sticks inside of this trap and uh, yellows and greens work the best because they seem to be the brightest and the idea is that overnight hanging this up in a mesquite tree right here you will attract all the bugs you need they will come in the trap just like a minnow or a crawfish and in the morning we'll go ahead and set this trap out and I'll show you how fast you catch so uh, you might think glow sticks don't seem like they're a, a very good resource to use they're a dollar at the dollar store and uh, especially if you have kids out there camping and whatnot, they play with the glow sticks for a couple hours, everybody goes off to bed, and then the glow sticks are wasted for the rest of the night. This is something you can do, just chunk them in, and uh, it works really well. Not only that, if you have a lot of uh, insects around your camp, and you're having issues with that at night, this will work. So out here in the country, where you don't have any other lights running around, glow stick is all you need. So we're going to go ahead and load these things in. A couple different brands that I use, a lot of it just comes down to how bright they get and what kind of gear they have. So this one right here, which is your Crazy Glow, had this for years and years, actually has a hook on it and you can hook to the inside of this trap so it dangles down, kind of a, a good bait placement and in this instance the glow stick is the bait. And uh, you have the dollar store brands, you can get multi-packs with different colors try them out uh, the reds and blues I found don't work very well again yellows and greens even in the water give off a lot more color a lot more light that's what you want to use so we'll go ahead and shove two or three of these in tie it up here on top and give it the night I'll show you exactly what these things are capable of doing so crack your glow sticks double check uh, one little helpful tip those glow sticks that you grab at the dollar store, uh, grab several of them. Sometimes kids go in there and break them inside the package and they never activate. So uh, you want to make sure that what you buy or you have enough and don't depend on a single one because you never know. So, all right. Chunk it in. We're going to be putting these in the air and that way uh, more of the insects, especially the flyers, are able to see them. In the morning we're going to be catching minnows and crawfish with this, mostly minnows. But uh, if you wanted to use the insects themselves as live bait, you have lots of little snakes, lots of lizards and other things that would be attracted by this if you were to set it down on the ground. So all in all, real cool trap. Let's go ahead and lock it on. About an hour, hour and a half. The sun will be down. We'll show you what it looks like then. Wish you luck. All right. So it's the middle of the night, and uh, this is pretty much the view that the bugs are getting. This is what's attracting them. As you can see, only two of the glow sticks actually uh, activated. The third one was a dud. And uh, like I said, that happens sometimes. I really didn't expect it from that brand. But turn the lights on. See all kinds of flying insects deep in there. A couple of strange looking green beetles as well. A few moths. So we got a couple dozen insects in there. We still have several hours until. Uh, daylight's coming up. At that time we should have enough to chunk it in the creek and attract some minnows. Whatever else wants to eat beetles. Good show. 
All right, well, the sun is up, and we have caught an assortment of insects. All different sizes, all different kinds. So, uh, depending on the time of year, a lot of times this will fill up with uh, gnats and different kinds of flies. We have lots of different beetles in here. Some weird ones. Dead grasshopper as well. But this time, I'll go ahead and set this down in the creek and show you what it can catch. So at this time, I'm going to be leaving the glow sticks inside of the trap. I do not want to open this up and let any of the beetles out. So pick your location. Here in Texas, it's getting hot during the day. So uh, I'll throw it in the shade where I can find it. Give it about an hour. Hopefully that's enough time. We'll come back and check it. See what we've got. Wish you luck. Alright. Well, it's well past when we should have come and checked this trap. As you can see, the shadows. Life kind of caught up with us. But, uh, the retention on these traps is usually pretty good. So hopefully... We still have some stuff in here. I can hear stuff. But there's quite a bit of uh, gunk on the outside of the trap. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. They'll fall to one end. And there you have it. Alright, a couple of the large bugs that were uh, a little too. A little too big to consume by these little guys. And a whole lot of small perch, crawfish, and uh, yeah, a few minnows in there. So, there you go. Now I have, uh, I have played around with putting the glow sticks directly into the trap and putting them into the water. And I've got some uh, fairly murky water in here, as y'all can see. Doesn't really clear up uh, all year round, and I've had a little bit of success with the uh, the yellows and the greens again. The reds and the blue glow sticks didn't really attract much, but that's probably due to their uh, their low light or maybe even just the, the red red light. So we're gonna try that out in some of the clearer waters, guys. Try new things, figure it out. But that is your geese minute trap using glow sticks to attract insects for the purpose of catching even more bait. So, guys, like and subscribe. And as always, till next time.